my YouTube dudes, my Tinterweb picking and hunting family. I have let you down. I know what you're thinking. I've let you down. It's been way, way, way too long since I put out a video on this channel. And all I can say is I'm deeply, deeply sorry for that and I will not let it happen again. You stupid idiot! But it has been for good reason. And if you stick around until the end of this video, you're going to find out exactly what that reason is. It's good news. It's exciting news. But for now, let's go thrifting and shifting, hunting for some treasures. Come along with me, your guy, the Yorkshire Picker. Let's go. Whatever. Good morning my dudes, it's your boy Hunterman Toy Finder, Thrifty McShifty, aka the Yorkshire Picker, up here in God's own country, ready to do some thrifting and shifting, some dipping and flipping, ready to find some bargains. We've got Slipknot Superfan Josh Geller, aka Mosh Geller, along for the ride today. Say hi Mosh Geller. Hello. That'll do for him, doesn't say much. We're going to uh, see what treasures we can unearth today. It's a cold December morning. Right then, let's see what we can find. Wish us luck, and we'll see you on the flip side. Not sure how this is gonna come off, but it's time for a bit of uh, voiceover time, because this footage would have gone to waste had I not done a voiceover, due to uh, a very kind and considerate seller pumping out some tunes early morning. Bit of Tina Turner, simply the best. <laughs> I don't know how they know what, what kind of taste of music I've got, but they just seem to know. So yeah, this is Jordan's stall. Jordan does a bit of selling online himself. But he also leaves me a bit of profit and stuff as well. If I bundle, I'm gonna go in for a bundle, bundle deal. You can see he's got a lot of decent stuff on his stall. I don't know why we're using the torch indoors, but yeah, <laughs> a lot of decent stuff. But as I say, he sells online as well. Um, and I think, I think he tends to be high end or eBay prices on the stuff that he likes himself. So if you find stuff that he's not that partial about, he tends to uh, do you a decent deal. So I'm going in for a bundle. These Jim Shaw, I think they're called. Is it Jim Shaw? Jim Shaw Disney statues or statuettes, ornaments. Probably should have gone in for those. Don't know why. I think I was a bit distracted by the loud music, to be honest. Don't know why I didn't bother. They can be good. Generally speaking, it's the large ones that are good. The large ones are rarer. Nearly knocked that one on floor then, Jordan. Mind out for uh, Peter Pan there. So, yeah, getting a few toys off him. Not too much stuff, but uh, as I say, his prices can be can be eBay prices. He's telling me how much that's worth, how much this is worth. Oh, you should see how much this one sells for. <laughs> Tends to do that. Deal done though. I'll take those. Cheers, Jordan. Oh, Momin. Momin, Papa. Momin's always used to terrify me. Your army guys here. Morning, you alright? Morning, morning. You alright? <laughs> you stay there, I'll see you in an hour Josh. I know how much you love that style. I'll catch you up. He's obsessed with bloody war. This the Pelham. How much is your puppet? Five pounds. Five pounds. Just a horse or what else is in there? No, it's just a foal. A what sorry? A foal. Baby horse. Oh is there? Yeah. Goes with it? No, no, that's it. Yeah. Alright, oh, what's in the bottom? It's heavy. You've got a Lego man and the snowman as oh, well. Oh, well, you can have that for free. <laughs> and a padlock as well. <laughs> it's just stuff that's fallen in there. <laughs> Giggity, 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 giggity,
Hey, ching it ching It's Dominic the donkey. I'll take that. Okay. Well, that's a good one, that. That's uh, just a flag with a skull on it. That's cool, isn't it? That's cool. He'd probably like that. Kid that's with me down there, he's a mosher. All right. He likes the flat. Yeah, I'll just take the uh, puppet. Hello. Hello, Joshua. I'm running a bit low on money. Did you find any guns? I any found bombs? A, I found a GSR though. A what? A general service respirator. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. He's obsessed with gas masks. Yeah, there's nothing like that. <laughs> oh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> he sits around watching telly wearing them. Morning, you alright? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not bad. What you got on these, and do you have many of them? It's just oh, them three boxes, boxes they found each. Are they all the same character? Yeah, they're uh, all same. That's a shame, it's just a, one of the baddies, I think, isn't it? If it had been a, a main character, it'd have uh, Well, they wouldn't have been a pounder. A goody. <laughs> no, they wouldn't have been a pounder, no. Good, good, good point. <laughs> What's in these boxes? Pencils. What? Winnie the Pooh pencils. Oh, Winnie the Pooh pencils. Ooh, that lamp's cool. You'll know who's that, because I don't know where it is. That's a um, gang, gang thing, in it? Dragon Ball? That's it. Why, how much are they? I don't know that either. Five. Okay, what's his name? Genku. Genku. No idea. Yeah, I'm not massive. I'm not massively into anime. I'm into, yeah. I'm into Pokemon, so I should know who he is. Gen Genku, huh? Yeah, yeah Pelham. Right, I'm gonna trip to the car. Trip to the room, darling. A little bit more muted footage. Music going on again. Oh, that's the stall there. Look, you see him with disco ball going and everything. Oh, he loves a bit. I don't know what he's got on at this point. Bit of Roy Orbison, maybe. Who I do actually enjoy Roy Orbison. So he's on the. Hit the nail on the head with that one. Got my music taste right there. Yeah, bit of stationery. Creaky chair. Some Star Wars puzzles. Oh, he's telling me there's loads of stuff in that sack. It's got loads of, loads of goodies in his sack, like Santa Claus. But n from what I remember, nothing much came out of there. He did promise a lot of good stuff, but... I think it was a mistake and the kind of stuff that I enjoy. So I think I'll leave those with him and tell him I'll come back and look in that sack. Or you have a look in the sack, see what you can find, I'll come back for them and maybe we'll have some more stuff. Should have just dived in the sack myself really, shouldn't I? <laughs> but it's early morning, you've got to be hopping from stall to stall so you don't miss anything. Hook smash. How much is the uh, hook? Eight pounds. Though. Pound. Second for a quiz. Who's the bodies? Here you go, lovey. Chuck us out of my backpack, then? please, Josh. No. It's in about sealed DVDs. <laughs> Someone said I had to look at your DVDs. No, you don't need to look at the DVDs. You need to look at the bag down there. Okay. Um, Pound. Yeah, they're the bottom, but they're not. But the DVDs on the PC, yeah. No, there were CDs. Uh, no, sealed ones, said. Oh, they were only a What am I looking at in here? Not this. Uh, the grey box. Yeah, the grey box. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Some of them are wet through, mate. 
Some of them are wet through. That's Like proper wet through. That's uh, my mate opposite who collects it all. Sent them over and they've been on my boy's shelf for uh, oh, two man. years. Huh? Now they're still sealed. Um, I'll say it, he'll 20 for that. Go on mate, go on mate. Can you chuck them in my backpack for me as well? <laughs> yeah. Cool to be the bodyguard. Yeah. Just a pound thing, pound item. <laughs> Good elf. Good elf. Ooh. That's throwing nice. Looks like it, yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? 15 that one, mate. Bent, bent blade, mate. Like. Someone told me it was, I can't remember who it was now. Where's your, uh, you've you got to yeah, stand no. against back wall there. Uh, no, stand, just stand against that door there, yeah, fellas. Yeah, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> How much you want for that? Three quid. Three quid for throwing knife. Got someone in mind for the gift. Make a nice gift. I've got some nice ones. Um, My boy James. What, throwing knives? Nice? Yeah. Two quid, you say, yeah? Three quid. Two fifty. Two. Three. Uh, yeah. You owe me, you know, it's fine, you owe me one. Paying over, over top prices, yeah. Inflated prices. Vertigo. I've had that one before. It's not good. Oh yeah, not buying scale electrics. Definitely not. Ooh, ooh, Joshua, how could you not spot that? How could you not spot that? Right in front of your face. It's yours. I just stepped on your toes. Sorry, dude. It's pretty cool. Huh? Dilofa, Dilofa, Dilofa. Dilofa, Dilofa. Dilofa. I knew his name. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Gotta go. Do I need that in my life? Probably not. It's cool though. Probably don't need that in my life, to be honest. I've got enough robots. Is that a Pokeball? Is it a Pokeball? Pokeball! 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 Toyota! I choose you! No! 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 <laughs> I caught you. You've got to catch them all, I caught you. He just turned what do you want for these two shaft toys? Um, a couple of quid, pal. Mario one that looks yeah, I've seen awesome. it. It's a bit grubby. It's a bit grubby. Ooh. It's Justice League sweatbands. How much are sweatbands? They're a 50 feet of that. 50 feet of that? Oh, oh so there's. Far in a pack. Better just be out of pack for it. No, there's more than four. There's five in a pack. Six in a pack. Yeah. Six in a pack? Yeah. I can't count them. So three quid a pack? Yeah. Are they all the same, are they? Yeah, they're all Superman. They're all Superman. All right, they're all the same. I'll take a pack to try them. What about your ones? How much are they? Five. Five. Have you got different ones? Have you got no, many? That's Just one. one have you? You don't know what you're getting, the mystery ones. Yeah. You got a bag? Please. I'll never let you have half a scar. 
Cheers. <laughs> bit more muted down. Bit of uh, voiceover action for you again. Should have bought those slippers. I love those gorilla monster type slippers. So I've just come back to collect these bits. He's got band things on all that. Basically, didn't find anything else in the sack. There's the uh, upshot of it. I don't think so, anyway. Or maybe some pretty cool shades. I don't know if they're on this footage, but I've got some shades off it as well. You can see those. Deal done. Two quid. <laughs> right, six cups. Six mugs. Back to Jordan's stall. Get six mugs. Not something I usually buy because ceramics are not insured uh, under Royal Mail. I'm, I'm pretty sure most couriers don't insure ceramics anymore. Um, it's also not very valuable, but we'll see why I'm buying them very shortly. Very shortly. Llama eggs. Woo! Time machine. Is that the first one you've brought out for me? I've got one box of flamingo ones. Flamingo ones, slime, no dino ones. How much are on these then? Just have a look, see what they are. Willy. Just have a look and see what you can do on it. Uh, on a single one, I don't know. I'd probably only do a tenner, to be honest, on a single one. You it's, just whether, it's whether or not I can yeah, I'll but, let you have that one at a ten and then see how you go with them. Yeah. It's one of them, isn't it? The box is right tatting on that. You haven't got other ones to hand, have you? No. Tell you what, I'll leave it, I'll leave it for now, but find me other ones. Yeah. Because I have, I've, really over, no, I I've overspent today anyway, and I'll take the, the cheapy, cheapy stuff. Put it there. Six boxes. Yeah. I'll take them, we can try them, can't we, for now? Well, for 30 quid. Say for now. Four boxes of slime. Yep. <laughs> Flamingo ones. I thought you liked them. I've only got one box of them. Yeah. Are you coming back for them? Uh, yeah, it looks Same like it, doesn't it? And just like that, we are back inside the treasure truck. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Where? Where? There is a fifth dimension. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the toy shop zone. Do, 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 do. <laughs> as you can see guys, we are not inside the treasure trove. It seems as though we have travelled back in time. Captain's log, start a 23.9, rounded off to the nearest decimal point. We've travelled back in time to save an ancient species from total annihilation. That's right guys, we are here inside Forever Retro. If we can get a quick hello from Mark hello. and Paul. Hello. That is right, your guy the Yorkshire Picker, aka Thrifty Meet Shifty, has partnered up with Mark Yo. and Paul. Hello. <laughs> of Paul Everett Print and Design here in Ecclesall in the sunny city of Bradford to bring to you a toy shop. The best little toy shop there's ever been. Mark's brainchild. Forever Retro for all your toys. Gifts and collectibles. You. Where's your t-shirt, Paul? This is my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a full toy shop tour sometime soon, but today I thought we'd just go through a slightly different way of looking at the, uh, the things we found at the car booty. So a pretty decent finds today, overall. Let's go through the loot pile, see what we found. Just start at the start and work our way through. So we got a nice Pelham's puppet. Uh, it's full. Di did say to me as I picked it up that I've done well on that because apparently animals are where it's at with Pelham puppets. Never really bought them before, but he's a nice looking fella. Could be five pounds, sells for around 20, I think. I've not actually done all the comps on all the items that I'm gonna show you, but I'll try and stick some up as we go through. 
Nice Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus, the spitting dinosaur. I think I paid a pound for that and it seems to be worth around 20, maybe even a little bit more. Pokeball, because you know, we've got to catch them all. Got a couple of DVDs. This one to watch, because it just struck me as nothing to do with the cover. There were misses. <laughs> just struck me as a sci-fi that I've not seen before. Um, so I'm gonna give that one a watch. I'll put it on the to-do pile. Pink Floyd, The Wall movie. Just looked like an interesting one. We've got a verse. Do you do the this? I call up all these places, I say, I want to buy verse. They say, we don't sell the verse. Everything is doved. This, we've got a verse of The Phantom, starring Billy Zane, shout out Billy Zane. Uh, that's for Mark to customize, actually. Mark's been making some customized fairy light type displays using the VHS by taking the back off, taking the film itself out, leaving the reels in, but then putting around the reels, the spools, some fairy lights and they make nice display pieces, nice Christmas gifts. He will not be ripping apart these three though, I'm customizing these three. These are Freddy Krueger, Freddy's Nightmares, Nightmare on Elm Street, VHS. Elm Street? Elm Street. VHS TV series. They want a good clean, sort of full of grubby nicotine, but they seem to sell for around 50 pounds each, some of them. I paid 20 for the three. We've got a few nice premium type toys from Jordan. I think I paid 75 for the three. Might just make a bit of room. 75 for the three. And I should get almost all that back just on the shredder, feudal shredder. Saw a list for around 70 on that. Jack Sparrow, Necker, series one. Real toys, Pirates of the Caribbean. He seems to sell for around 20. I think I paid 12 for him in the bundle deal. Well, probably 10 actually. And Misty. Huh? I thought you guys were gonna wait for me by the snack bar. How's the water? Uh... Cardi Pokemon figure by Hasbro, 1999, which again seems to sell for roughly around the same price as the Shredder, probably around 60 or 70. So I should just about almost double up on those after fees. Got a Hulk. Don't know what he's worth. He's just pretty cool. Hulk smash. Small soldiers. Major chip hazard. 50 pence paid for him. Uh, I think he probably sell for around 10. Man bat. We've got a man bat. Animated, animated Batman villain. 12 inch version. I think he paid 50 pence for him and he seems to sell for around 15 to 20. So that's a good buy. Then, this is where I've had to switch it up a little bit and think differently. Ad adapt my way of buying because a lot of these items, particularly in this area, I'd not usually look twice at them, I'd pass on them straight away because there's no markup, no profit to be had. They're just penny stock. So on eBay, they wouldn't, I wouldn't make anything really. But in the toy shop, I feel it's very important to sort of cater to all budgets. So these are items that you'll probably be able to pick up in the shop for as little as as little as a pound maybe on these. These are sort of grow your own pet. So we've got a sloth, we've got flamingos, we've got llamas, we've got those from Steve. Steve. Shout out Steve. He's just done a, a liquidation job. Got a whole load of stock. He does have dinosaur ones, but he couldn't find them. I'm looking forward to getting the dinosaur ones. We've got make your own slime kits as well. Again, I think I paid five pounds a case on those. So once we sold five, if they're a pound each, so the box paid for it and the, the remaining seven, I think it's 12 pieces. The re remaining seven will be a uh, profit. The mugs, I paid £10 for six. So sell two for £5, then the rest is cream. Mm. Creamy. <laughs> we got some sweatbands, Superman sweatbands. Paid, I think, £3 for the six that are in there, the six lots that are in there. Again, that's something that could just sell for a couple of pounds in the shop. Not bad. A uh, big stack of Star Wars jigsaws, Disney ones, unfortunately. But for that stack of jigsaws and these Kanye West style shares, which I will undoubtedly end up wearing, at least one pair of them. <laughs> Paid two pounds for, two or three pounds? Three pounds for all that stack. 
including the Jurassic Park stationery, sorry, Jurassic World stationery sets as well. So this is all just nice little items that someone coming in with a child that desperately wants to buy something from a toy shop can easily afford, rather than, you know, the top shelf stuff that might be around. I think that's a, a good a good selling point. You've got to cater to all budgets, or do your best to, to cater for, for all budgets. There'll be plenty of kids getting off the bus right there at that bus stop, pestering mum or dad to come inside, or granddad or grandma, to come inside and have a look around. And yeah, I will do a full tour review of the shop when all the shelves are stacked and we're ready to go. So yeah, take care guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay cool.